Shalom to the Lord's elect. Let's begin this lesson by giving honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, our Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, our King, our Redeemer, our Savior, our Big Brother, our Intercessor, our Lawyer, the root and offspring of King David, the bright and morning star, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the beginning and the ending, the Alpha and the Omega, the Prince of Peace, Shiloh, our King, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai. Let's give double honors to our head apostles, the elders, the bishop out of the great millstone that taught us this truth and salutation, peace to the Lord's elect, starting with the tabernacle of David, the 144,000, the next governors of this world here under our King, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, followed by the large multitude, men, women, children, whom our King, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, is going to have mercy upon. I pray that this message here will find you in perfect peace as well as we all wait for the mercies of our King, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, given diligent to make our election sure. That's right. We make working on our own salvation with fear and trembling. Nobody is saved yet. Okay, nobody is saved yet. We're given diligent to make our election sure. All right. And again, but the Lord told us to uh, to put on us the elect. We say, Tawada Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai for that gift of faith. Mentioned in the book of uh, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. It's a gift that was given to the hopeful elect. We call ourselves the hopeful elect to show humility. That's what the Lord wants to see. All right. We just thankful that the Lord called us to this glorious gospel, which is the testimony of our King, our Redeemer, our Shai. Don't take it for granted. It is a privilege. You could have been lost in the world, you know, putting your trust in America, putting your trust in Babylon, hoping that America will be made great again. But the Lord save you. The Lord show you mercy by giving you this truth. Again, like we always do through the spirit and power of our King, our Redeemer, our Shai. We go through the news and make sure that the elect, the hopeful elect are fed with organic food. Not the crap that comes off mainstream media because mainstream media work for the government. But we go dig through the Lord, the spirit leads us to information that we think will be beneficial to the body. Okay? We're focusing on prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. That's how the Bible says, measure thou the time diligently in itself. Okay? Actually, you know what? We must well open it with that. I wasn't going to go there, but the Spirit led me there. So, I must well go and get it. You know, I had my own, uh, by, uh, my own precept that I want to bring out. But uh, the Bible lets me here. So, let's go there. Let's go to... Uh, let's go here to Second Ezra chapter 9 let's start from verse 1 he said he answered me and he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs parts which I have told thee before then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made and the Lord is visiting the world by the place that is bringing upon the earth, by the chaos that is bringing upon the earth, by the war, the tension is rising and it is rising and it's rising. Okay, we are at the end. This is it. These are the things that the Lord asks us to, uh, to be watching out for. Okay, he said, therefore, when they shall be seeing earthquakes, it's always happening. We have earthquakes every day, you know, but they just don't report it. And uproars of the people in the world, you're looking at it. Major protests going all all over the world. You have this dock workers, okay, on strike. Yes, it's going to affect our supply chain. So you're already witnessing all these things. He said, then shall thou well understand that the most high, our power, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, eh, spoke of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, like he always does. He tells you the end 
from the beginning. It says in the book of Isaiah 46 verse 10 that he declared the end from the beginning. He says he will not give his glory to anybody like he always says. Let's get that quickly. You know, I don't know why the Spirit is leading me here. But family, I'm just following the Spirit because the Lord wants to get the glory. Let's go to that book of Isaiah. Isaiah uh, 46 verse 10. It says here. It says, it says, verse 9, it says, Remembering, Remember the former things of old, for I am the power and there is none else. I am the power and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. You know what? I've never read it in the Good News Translation. Please, let me get that quickly. I never read this in the Good News Translation. Let's go to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 46. Isaiah 46. We're going to pick it up from verse 9. Mm -hmm. Verse 9 and 10. Verse 9 and 10. It says here, Remember, that, remember what happened long ago. Acknowledge that I alone I am the power. And that there's no one else like me. From the beginning, I predicted the outcome long ago. I foretold what would happen. I said that my plans would never fail. That I would do everything I intended to do. You hear that? You hear what the Lord is saying? He declared. And then I want to read this in the NLT. Please bear with me. Let's read this here. In NLT, it says here. The NLT, it says what? Um, remember the things I have done in the past. For I alone, I am the power. I am the power and there's none like me. The next verse is what? Verse 10. Verse 10, it says here, Only I can tell you the future. Before it even happens, everything I plan will come to pass. For I do whatever I wish. And we are witnessing it. This is his movie. Thank the Lord that you are part of his plans. You know, the Father, you understand the testimony of our King, our Redeemer, our Shai. He didn't leave you in plantation Christianity. He took you out of that hallowed house. You know, you sitting beside some of these men out there, women, and they open their mouth and knocks you right out. You know, sitting in those peak, all the, 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 the pastor talking just pure nonsense. But here we are. Eh? But let's go on here. Let's go on. Matthew 24 verse 3. Because this is the time that we are living in. Matthew 24 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciple came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And of the end of the world. You hear that? The second, the, the end of the world Co coincide with what the second coming of our Lord Esau is the end of the world uh, second Ezra chapter 6 verse 9 and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed you hear that so the apostles wanted to know he goes king eh, our, our, our Lord tell us what are the signs hear what the king said Yahweh I said and Yahweh I answered and said unto them take heed that no man deceive you for many shall come in my name saying I am the anointed and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Family, we are in it. Wars of wars and rumors of wars. It's happening right in front of our eyes. This incident, this this um, conflict between Iran and Israel is about to escalate. And we have the news. We have the articles. We're going to go through it. We have Colonel McGregor, who appeared on, uh, what's name? Uh, he appeared on uh, uh, Mothers of All Talk show. George Galloway show this evening and everybody knows that this is the end for Israel and we're talking about the ones living on the on the, uh, on the land right now the Gentiles this is the end of this is it this is the end this is the what is going to lead to uh, the second coming of our Lord we know there are see few things that still have to play out we're still waiting for the microchip and that's the major 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 game changer we're still waiting for it and it's fast approaching it is coming you see he said, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars, and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. You hear what the Lord is saying? 
Don't let your heart be troubled. Don't we say we bring this thing here to comfort you. You should be extremely excited that we are very close. But prepare your mind for what we are about to go through. We're going to go through the tribulation together. The difference is we have hope. That's the major game. The difference is we have hope. The hopeful elect. We have hope. You see, there are going to be a lot of people that are hopeless. have no clue what is coming. You have this knowledge. And the Bible says in Isaiah 33, 6, that knowledge and wisdom is going to be the stability of the times. There's no way when shit hit the fan, you should be running around like a chicken with the head cut off. You should stay calm and allow the Lord to do his thing. That's the mindset that we have to be in. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors and rumors of wars. See that what? Ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Let's read this in here. Because we are here. When we see this World War Three escalated family, we get excited. Yes, family. Because we know that we are very close. But there are a few things that have to play out too. The microchip, the civil war. Okay, the civil war. You're going to hear it from Conor McGregor's his mouth. George Galloway asked the question. We have few weeks left before this election. Why does America wants to go to the wants to go to war with Russia and Iran? Family, we're going to allow him to answer the question. And I'm going to get to it very shortly. I and you will hear of wars and threats of wars. But don't panic. You hear what the Lord says? But don't panic. And that's the key. Because what? Again, you have this knowledge. Keep in mind. It's not like you woke up one day and you have no clue what is happening. You've been following the, the prophets from our, our starting with our head apostles all the way down. You've been following the lessons. So there's no way you should panic. And you will hear of wars and threats of wars. But don't panic. Yes, these things must take place. But the end won't follow immediately. You hear that? The end won't follow immediately because what? We're still waiting for micro, uh, uh, microchip. We're still waiting for what? The civil war that's coming to America. Isaiah 19, 2 Ezra 15, starting from verse 14 down. Okay? And now here, it says here. For nations, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines. Eh? And pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of what? Sorrows. And it's coming. I'm going to leave it there for now. Let's get right into it. Fair use art, fair use art, fair use art. This, uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, clip belongs to, uh, what's his name? George Galloway. Okay. Mother of all talk show. And he had Conor McGregor, Douglas Conor McGregor, appeared on a retired U.S. Army Colonel and Arthur. Okay, he appeared on the show this afternoon. And I'm going to pick it up from uh, an hour and 15. He had a lot of things to say. But I'm just going to play a few minutes of this and then we're going to get into the articles. Iran is preparing for a, uh, a massive attack. Okay, Iran is preparing because what? It, what's name? Israel is going to retaliate. And that time is coming. And we pray that it's tonight. Family, we it's, October is going to be beautiful, man. We hope the Lord, eh? we hope the Lord escalate things for us. Because we want to go home, family. We want to go home. Lord willing, we are among the numbers, you know. So all we're praying for, man. We want to take it on the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the ship, man. We want to take it, man. This is a VIP event, man. VIP event. And we don't want to miss it, man. Anyway, let's go. Well, that's what we used to call, uh, when you and I were younger, uh, the $64,000 question, uh, when $64,000 was worth a lot more than it is now. Why? Why, four weeks before a presidential election, would the United States embroil itself in all-out war in the Persian Gulf, after which no oil, no gas, no ships, will travel. You won't be able to pay $10 a gallon for petrol because you won't be able to get any. Nothing will move through the Red Sea, through the Straits of Hormuz. Why? That's the big question, 
isn't it? Well, I think we can answer it. Two reasons. One is Mr. Netanyahu knows that right now he has more control and influence over what the United States government does than anybody in the government. Uh, we are unconditionally supportive of whatever he wants to do. Now, this is not a function of American public opinion. There has been no debate. There's nothing constitutional about our actions. This is simply the product of the strength and the power of the Israel lobby. And the Israel lobby at this stage controls both parties. So we have to assume that it doesn't make a great deal of difference who wins the election if you're living in the Middle East. The Israelis are going to continue to enjoy the kind of support that they've got right now. And contrary to whatever President Biden and his administration says, they have fundamentally enabled the Israelis all the way along. There has been no serious opposition, no obstacles in the way of, of Israeli action. So the, the only thing that we can say at this point is that Hezbollah is putting up a very stiff resistance. And the Israelis are going to take hard casualties trying to fight their way through that. We can also say what you've said, which is that Iran will respond dramatically to whatever the Israelis now do. Now, what will the Israelis do? Well, they're going to destroy, I suspect, the oil production facilities in Iran. They will also try to decapitate the government. And that is also something on, that they depend very heavily on from us, because we're the ones with the highly skilled and sophisticated ISR capabilities that allow us to find people like Nasrallah and others so that the Israelis can target and kill them. And then finally, I'm sure that the Israelis will go after the so-called nuclear development facilities, the places where the centrifuges exist and our friends, the Iranians, have been trying to build a, a nuclear weapon. At least that's the allegation. So I think that will that will all happen. Now, the Iranians have already said, and I'm saying now the Revolutionary Guard, Iranian Revolutionary Guard has said that if you destroy Iran's oil facilities, its production facilities, that they're going to put the torch to just about every uh, everything else in the region connected to oil, which means that your prediction of serious economic consequences and financial Armageddon uh, are entirely justified. You are spot on. That is going to happen. Then the question is, what does uh, Russia do? Russia has invested very heavily to help the Iranians build up their air and missile defense capability. How effective will that be against the Israelis? We'll see. We have to assume it will have some effect. Will it be enough? We don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, and I think the Chinese are absolutely apoplectic right now because the last thing they want to see happen is the Straits of Hormuz close because they're heavily dependent on all of that oil and gas that comes from there through the Strait of Malacca and then up through the South China Sea. So you're going to have Chinese and Russian interest in this. And ultimately, I think the entire Shanghai Cooperation Council, along with this thing that we call BRICS, all of it, all of it will side with Iran against us, and I mean Israel and the United States. So he said a lot. He's talked about it doesn't matter who is in office, right? He says the uh, is Israeli lobby, APAC, that's right, the strongest lobby in America. So like we've been saying, starting with our head apostles all the way down, your election means nothing. They own all your government leaders, right? This war is about what? Resource. That's exactly how the Lord set it up. The Lord blessed them what? with the sword to take peace from the earth. He says, by the dew of heaven and by the sword thou shalt live. So all the resources around the world, they control it. That's right, the small heart, the big nose people, they control everything. They feel they are very entitled. That's right. He said a lot here. And he also said that what? Russia have interest in Iran. That goes to what? Ezekiel 38. So when we say this here, you see how the Lord is bringing everything together beautifully because we've gone through it here many, many times. Because when we hear these people talk, they are speaking, but they don't know that they are talking about. They are saying exactly what the Lord says. The Lord is talking about what? Prophecy. He says what? Russia will defend Iran. China will defend Iran. He says the whole BRICS nation will come against who? America and Israel. And the Lord also said in the book of Jeremiah, 
excuse me, Jeremiah 40 verse 20, uh, Jeremiah 49, 20. It says the least of the flock, which is what Israel is going to draw who? America out eh? to what? To Levon. And we are witnessing prophecy playing out right in front of our eyes. Ezekiel 38, family, I'm just going to hit that point quickly. It is out every day now. Ezekiel 38, eh? Ezekiel 38 verse 5. Here, Persia, that's the first nation mentioned in the book of, in, in chapter, uh, sorry, verse 5. Ezekiel 38, 5. At the top, it talks about what? Gog. And the word of the Lord, Yahweh, came unto me, saying, Son of son of man, set thy face against Gog. That is Russia, the land of Mega, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. Then says, and say, that says the Lord, Yahweh. Behold, I am against thee, O oh God. You hear that? The Lord is not with Russia. He says, I am against thee. The Lord is using what? Russia to fulfill prophecy. The chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. The Lord is turning Russia back into that, the old USSR spirit. It used to be called the Soviet Union. I think it comprised of 15 unions. Okay? And they broke apart in the 90s, early 90s. During the Gorbachev, uh, is it Gorbachev? I, I can never pronounce that name. It's Gorbachev uh, era, okay? When they def- there, they they broke up Russia. This is like the ninety. I think that was nineteen ninety one, okay? So that old USSR spirit. That's why that Red Army. That's how the Lord is turning Russia back into right now. It says, "And I will turn thee back, put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, and all thine army." Horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company, eh? with bucklers and shields, all of them handling sword. What was the modern day warfare? You're talking about your drones, right? Your drone technology, your missiles, your submarines, eh? your 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 aircraft carriers. Okay, these are what your horses and your horsemen. Okay, all right. It says here, clothed. It said here, and then it says Persia. Eh? Persia is the first nation mentioned. Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya. These nations are going to eventually join who? Russia. It tells you with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Goma and all of his bands. Eh? The house of Togoma of the North Cortes and all his bands and many people with the. I'm going to do this. There's a map that I usually go to. Let me see if I can find it. This is the region. This is what we are looking at. This is mega. That's Russia. Russia is vast. Russia is huge. Russia has, Russia has 11 different time zones. That's how big Russia is. Turkey is what modern day Togoma. Sorry. Sorry. Turkey. Yeah. Togoma is what modern day Turkey. He mentioned Persia. That is Iran. This whole dominion, because it goes on to tell you in the book of Jeremiah 51 also. Turkey in Jeremiah 51, it, tell, it calls Turkey Ararat. It calls Amini, Ar- Armenia. Okay? Ashkenaz, that's German. Because what? We're still waiting for uh, uh, Revelation 17 to be fulfilled. Because it says the ten horns, which is what? Germany is part of the ten horns. Uh, what is it called? Hungary is part of the ten horns and also part of NATO. It said they shall hate the whore. Who is the whore? The whore is America. So eventually these nations are going to war. They have to join with Russia because Ezekiel 38 has to be fulfilled. Right now we know that Yemen is right now who are controlling, controlling the Red Sea. America hasn't been able to open the Red Sea since what? Yemenis, the Houthis blocked the Red Sea. So this whole region here, eh, this whole region, the dominion... And in China right here, and you have North Korea, and eh? North Korea is also going to uh, join in. But let's go, let's go back and look at, uh, where was it? Let's go back to Ezekiel. What was I reading? Where is Ezekiel? Ezekiel 38 now. It says what? It says, uh, uh, Persia, to Ethiopia, and Libya, with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Goma and all his band, the house of Togoma, that is what? Turkey. Turkey is a member of NATO, but Turkey is going to leave NATO because what? Bible prophecy have to be fulfilled. That's why Yahweh says what? There will be rumors of war 
eh, and war. See that ye be not troubled, but the end is not yet. Because the, in order for all these nations to reunite, unite again uh, with Russia, with the, uh, this prophecy has to be fulfilled. Yes, the rumors are coming, it's coming. Things are moving very quickly. So we have to allow prophecy to play out. And the Lord is doing enough for us. We're seeing it. It's playing out right in front of you. You have the front row to this movie. The family, you seeing everything clearly. But the key is patience, family. The key is patience. Patience means suffering. Suffer patiently, family. We have forever to enjoy this kingdom. Eh? He said, better is the end of a thing than the beginning of it thereof. And the patience in spirit. The patience in spirit is proud. Sorry, the patience in spirit is better than what? The proud in spirit. Who is the proud? Esau, he himself proclaimed white man. Because he thinks this third world war here, they're going to win it. Yeah, they think they're going to win a nuclear war. That's how proud they are. They think their kingdom is going to continue forever. <laughs> they missed the memo. It said, be thou prepared. No, let's go back to verse 6. Goma and all his bands. The house of Togoma, of the north quarters, and all his band, all his military, military, Goma and his military, Turkey and his military, and many people with thee. Many people with thee. We know Russia have friends, eh? That's right. The Russian, that's right. The BRICS, that's right. They have, Russia got friends. China is there. China has interest. You heard it from the, uh, uh, the Colonel McGregor's mouth. China have interest. China need Iranian oil. So guess what? They're all about to unite against who? Israel and America. <laughs> Brace yourself for what is coming. It says, after many, it says, be thou prepared. Listen to this. Let's read this in the NLT. Let's read this in the NLT. It said, get ready, telling Russia, get ready, be prepared. Keep all the armies around you mobilized. You hear that? This was the instruction the Lord is giving to Gog. And take command of them. When you're taking command of somebody, guess what? They are under your umbrella. So you're protecting them. When you hire a security guard to watch or to 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 uh to uh to uh, to, uh, to take care of you, like I always use what LeBron, all the celebrities, they have they have the security detail. The security job is of, of uh, the security uh, uh what is it called uh what is it called the security that what the purpose of the security to uh, to protect their client. To protect their client, you see. So Russia's job is to, uh, to be a guard unto Iran. Russia is not going to sit back and watch Israel and America destroy Iran. You see where this is heading to? And that is prophecy. That's prophecy. That's what the Lord said we should be occupied in. You see? That's, what, that's prophecy. And Lord willing, we're going to go back to Ezekiel. Because the time will come, the Lord said he's going to put uh, evil thought in Russia's head. And they're going to what? cover Israel. They're going to take they said they're going to cover Israel like cloud, meaning they're going to destroy Israel. It is coming. <laughs> Man, let's get this article here. This is from Pro News. Israel Security Council. Listen to this. This was today, this evening. We will respond strongly to Iran, but in cooperation with the U.S. You hear that? In cooperation with the U.S. Let me repeat this again. Israel Security Council. We will respond strongly to Iran, but in cooperation with the U.S. Let me get that one. Let's go to Jeremiah 49. I coded it. Let's go here because from here, we are all about what? Lifting up the name. The Lord says he will never give his glory to anybody. We're telling you that this is what the Lord said is going to happen and it's happening right in front of your eyes. Jeremiah 49 verse 10. No, no, no. Verse 20. Verse 20. Eh? Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh. That he have taken against Edom. That's their biblical name. They are not white. They are not Caucasian. They are not European. They are not German. They are not American. They are not British. They are not Norwegian. They are not uh, Hungarian. That's right. Their biblical name. Everybody's going to go back to their biblical name and get into the kingdom. Their biblical name is Edom. They are the Edomites. They will be ruling when Yahweh Shai comes. They are in power right now. Their kingdom started with what? Alexander the Great. 
he was an Edomite. Yeah. After the Medes Persia fell, it was the Greek Empire. And then after the Greek fell, it was the Roman Empire. It was known as what? Greco Roman Empire. Black and white is a social construct that they created. They gave you the name black, they took the name white. Yeah, let that sink in. And go and look up look up the definition of black. Void of light. Wicked. Savage. Yeah, evil. And they took the name white. Benevolent. Pure. Righteous. Yeah. And they are the wicked. They are the one going around destroying the world. Dropping bombs on innocent people. Eh? Pillaging, raping, stealing. America was built on the, on the blood. Of the Israelite, starting with the northern tribe first and then the southern tribe. Yeah, let that sink in. They call themselves white, meaning pure. There's nothing pure about these devils. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh that he have taken against Edom, and his purpose that he have purposed against the inhabitant of Teman. Surely the least of the flock, which is Israel, shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. And Joel chapter 2 verse 20 tells you the same thing. Let's get that quickly. And uh, the, the book of Joel. Joel chapter 2 to 20. It says here. It says here. But I will remove far off from you the northern army. That's America. And will drive him into the land barren and desolate. That is why. That is uh, Saudi Arabia, the whole region, the Levant, yeah, barren and desolate. Eh? You see, with his face towards the East Sea, that's why the Euphrates River, but that's already drying up because that's why uh, I believe it's uh, Revelation 16. It said the sixth angel poured out his vow and then the river Euphrates was dried up. I'm going to get up. Please bear with me. Eh? And his face towards what? The East Sea and his hinder part, his hinder. His hinder part towards the outmost sea, which will this will be called the Red Sea, and his stink shall come up, and his ill savor shall come up, because he have done great things. Because the Lord is going to destroy all this army. He says here, I will drive away these armies from the north. I will send them into the parched wasteland. Those in the front, those in the front will be driven into the Dead Sea, and those at the rear into the Mediterranean. The stench of their rotten bodies will rise over the land. Surely the Lord has done great things. That's what is happening. That's what's going to happen to America. That, that's right. That's what's going to happen to who? America. We say, Tawada, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushua. said, the least of the flock shall draw them what? Shall draw them out. So again, it says, Israel Security Council, we will respond strongly to Iran by incorporation with the U.S. That's why it says Israel is going to be destroyed and America is going to be destroyed. We are here. Huh? It says the decision was not unanimous. But here, we will respond forcefully to Iran's missile attack. Huh? Was the decision of Israel Security Cabinet, which was convened by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Wednesday. Israel response to Iran missile attack will aim to cause significant economic damage and must come soon, a source told the Times of Israel. Yeah, here they are. And we say what? Tawada Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shayan. Listen to what is Zero Hedge is reporting. Iran braces for Israel attack, Israeli attack. Shortest main airport, closest airspace. It is tonight, the night of the expected big Israel Israeli retaliation attack. They said that yesterday. I went live yesterday. They said Mossad came out and said, what? Well, they're going to respond. But they didn't respond. So we just have to play it out. We have to see whether they're going to respond tonight or not. But regardless, things are escalating. Iran appears to be brazen for new aggression from Israel. Iran has just announced the closure of its airspace and it has diverted all civilian flights. There are reports the government has shut down Tehran Iman 
Kamani International Airport in anticipation of the potential Israeli retaliation. Iran announced that airports in the western half of the country, including Tehran and Marhabad, uh, are closed until Thursday except for emergency and certain other flights, according to aviation security specialist OSPE Flight Solution. Eh? Speaking from Doha, Iran President Masu Peshkian said his country is not seeking war, but in scenario that Israel act against us, we will respond. And this is what he said now. This is what he said. The new Iranian president. Iran, in case of retaliation by Israel, a stronger response will follow. So you look, you see what is happening. Nobody's backing down. And this is how the Lord set it up. Iran does not seek war, assured M. Pazeskian, but they don't know that this war here was predicted many, many, many generations ago. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel, Joel. Joel chapter 3. For behold, in those days, and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations. You hear what, what it's saying? It doesn't matter what the, these leaders think they want. They said they don't want war they don't want they're trying to avoid war no nobody's are going to nobody's going to avoid any war when our lord our power yahweh through the angel let me go here quickly because we always have to set they have to set that we go we let's go here quickly no let's go here let's go to the book of revelation you see there might be what a new listener i see we go to Revelation chapter 8, verse 13 first, okay? It says here, this is on the island of Patmos. This is where, what is uh, our beloved apostle John was seven time, okay? We're talking about two, close 2,000 years ago. And the Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh, shall send the angel to reveal to John. That's right, that's right. John was the last prophet kept alive to receive this book here called Revelation. This is end time prophecy. And when the angel came to John, this is what the this is what he brought. He says, and, behe and I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe. That's three world wars. Okay, three destruction. Woe means destruction. To the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels which are here to sound. And we know, according to popular history, we have what? First and Second World War. The First World War was what? 1914 to 1918. Followed by the Second World War, which was what? That's when uh, Hitler trying to take down uh, Russia. Eh? That's right. That's the second time the West trying to destroy Russia. The first time was what? When Napoleon Bonaparte, the French general, trying to destroy Russia. And he failed miserably. And then Hitler tried it again. So they're going to try it for the third time. Because what? It says what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Second World War was what? 1939 to 1945. So now we have one more war left. And then when they are sorry. So it says, it says here. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels which are yet to sound. And then when you go on to Revelation 11. Mm. Revelation 11 verse 14, it tells you what? Let's get there quickly. It tells you that what? Revelation 11 verse 14 says what? The second war is past, which was what? From 1939 to 1945. And behold, the third war cometh quickly. The third war is what? The third world war. This is what's going to lead to what? Revelation 12 verse 7. You see how everything is flowing nicely? The angel Michael, because according to uh, the Daniel 12 one, the time of Jacob's trouble, Michael have to step in. And Michael is coming right here. And there was war in heaven. This is Esau's heaven. Michael and his angel fought against the dragon. That's Esau's military. And the dragon fought and his angel and his technology. Esau and his drones, his airplane, and they're going to fight the second coming of our Lord, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai. And then he says what? And prevail not. Esau didn't prevail. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. And Second Ezra chapter 13 verse 11 says the same thing. When the Lord was down with them, nothing was to be perceived but smoke and dust. 
And it says here, here verse, uh, Revelation 12, 9, and the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil. You hear that? And Satan. That's Esau, he himself proclaimed white men. They are Satan and they are the devil because that's the spirit that is working in them. That's why they are able, blood is nothing in their sight. Everybody's out there looking for some antichrist to pop out from their fridge and behind their, their garage door and then their backyard and their workplace. is looking, you are, you are staring at him. You see him every day. You see? Esau is the devil. It says, and the great dragon was cast out, cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world through what? Through his micro to the CHIP, which is coming to, he's about to implement it. It tells you in the book of Revelation 12, 12, he knows that what? He has been a short time. So he's coming down with what? Great wrath. That great wrath is what? That's why making sure that if you don't take it, it's going to kill you. That's why there's the micro to the CHIP, Revelation 13, 16. He deceived a, a lot of people. It says here, which deceived the whole world. And first he took the images of our King, our Redeemer, our Shai. He took it all down. Paint his image right down there. That's why it says in the book of 2nd Market B. Is it 3? I think it's 2nd Market B. No, 1st Market B. 3, 343. Let me see here. Family, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. And prevail not. It says here, and that great dragon, and the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, who deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were also cast out with him. His all his uh, his his military, his military, his drones, and his uh, AI technology, whatever weapon that he has built. We know they're hiding some serious. They probably have lasers out there. The Esau Edom, you can put it past him. They have all type of weapons that family they haven't they've had, they haven't shown the general public yet but they're all going to come down his space station is coming down when they when the lord shows up because here he said he deceived the whole world how did he deceive the whole world i want here i haven't gone there in a while so please bear with me just pop in my spirit so let's get it i think it's second maccabee no i think it's first maccabee let's go to the first maccabee I think it's 343. Let me see. Is it 343? Oh. Yeah, 48. Sorry, 348. Wherefore, it says here, this is when during the family, when they were slaughtering, this is during the Antiochus time. This is the, during the Greek captivity. Okay, it said, then they fasted that day and put on sackcloth and cast ashes upon. Let's go back here. Now, now Jerusalem lay void as a wilderness. There was none of her children that went in or out. The sanctuary was, was trotting down and the aliens kept the stronghold. That's the heathen. We're talking about the Greeks. Okay, the heathen and their habitation in that place. And joy was taken from Jacob and the pipe with the harp seized. Wherefore the Israelites assembled themselves together and came to Mashpah over against Jerusalem. For in Mashpah was the place where they prayed aforetime in Israel. Then they fasted that day and put on sackcloth and cast ashes upon their heads and rent their clothes and laid open the book. Here is the point of the law wherein the heathen had sought to paint their, the likeness of their images. You hear that? This was started then. And then in the 1400, when they came out, they took down all the images. These people are forged. That's what the Job called them, the forgers of lies, physicians of no value. They have deceived the entire world. They put themselves as the son of the Most High, and then the power. Second Thessalonians tells you that. Let's get there. Let's go there. Let's go to Second Thessalonians. Hmm? He says he's going to be God. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. Let's go there, please. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go there. Second Thessalonians 2 3. It says here, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man, that falling away is go to what? When we lost Jerusalem. Starting from the 68 to 70 AD, Jerusalem were besieged, and we fled into what? Most of most of, most of us went to the interiors of Africa, and particularly the west coast of Africa, so all Israel. Most of those people living from Ghana, Nigeria, Benin, Ivory Coast, uh, Congo, majority of those people are all Israelites. Okay, Liberia, eh? you see? 
And then some went to what? The interiors of what? Europe and we are everywhere. The Lord said what? He was going to scatter this, right? This fulfilled prophecy. Okay, let no man deceive you eh? by any means for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed and he's being revealed right now. The liar, the Satan, the devil, Esau, Edom, the son of perdition, the son of what? Destruction. That's who Yahweh is coming to visit. He said he have a sacrifice in Bozra. That's America. Hey, who opposed it? You hear that? Who opposed it and exalted, exalted himself above all that is called God. They think they are the most high and the son of the most high. Hey, all that is worship so that he as God sitteth in what? In the temple of the most high showing himself that he is God. That's why he gave you sweet baby Jesus. And our people still waking up every Sunday, going to church and calling him sweet baby Jesus. That's why. That's how he deceived the world. And that's part of the, 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 the deceive. And that's what he has done. That's what Esau, he himself proclaimed white men have done throughout the whole world. Remember not. And I said, who, he said, remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you this things, and now ye know what will holdeth that he might be revealed in his time. He's telling you that what? Who is holding him back? The Lord is holding him back. It's the Lord that allow the Lord says he's holding him back. So when the time comes, he's the one that's going to reveal. He's reveal. We are revealing him right now. Everybody know that the cancer of the earth is the self-proclaimed white man. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. You're looking at it right now. And the mystery, he's called a mystery, but it's no longer mystery to what? To us anymore. We know who he is. Only he who letteth will let. Who let him? The Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Until he be taken out of the way. How is he going to be taken out of the way? And then shall that wicked be revealed. He's being revealed right now. Esau Edom, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And who is the spirit of the Lord's mouth? The prophet. That's what we are doing right now. We are revealing him to you. She's bringing you these articles. Linking you with the what? The word of the Lord. Telling you that this is the man of perdition. This is the man that have deceived the whole world. This is the man that the Lord blessed with the sword. This is the man that took peace from the earth. Revelation 6, 4. And then shall thou wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. That's what we're doing right now. And shall destroy with the brightness. Who's that brightness coming? Our King, our Redeemer, Yahusha. He is in possession of the missiles, the lasers, the brimstone that is bringing upon Esau, Edom. Yeah, he's the one bringing it. First, we are doing it. We're doing it with our mouth. And our King, our Redeemer, Yahusha, is going to show up with the angels. Of his coming. Again, let me go there. And then shall thou wicked be revealed, whom the Lord Yahweh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. That's what we're doing right now. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. You hear that? With all power and science and lying wonders. That's what he's been doing all over the world. Lying. Lying, lying, lying with his technology, his propaganda. No, but it's not working anymore. Because why? We are at the end of this wicked kingdom. So yes, Iran is ready. They are preparing. They're going to what? They're going to be. What did he say? Iran, in case of retaliation by Israel, a stronger response will follow. Iran does not seek war, assure the president. <clears throat> eh? But it's not about you. We just went to Revelation. Family, I'm not going there again. I told you the Lord said there will be three war, world wars. Okay, nobody's going to stop this war here. It said Iran on standby. It has prepared hundreds of missiles. Okay, hundreds of missiles that it can use in case of an Israeli or American strike. In case of retaliation by Israel, a stronger response will follow, says Iran president. We say Barakata Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai. And this caught my eye this evening. Listen to this disease. It's a Merborg. <clears throat> Merbog virus suspected on train in Germany. Listen to this, family. The Lord says the plagues are not slack. He's bringing plagues upon this earth. Listen to this. Listen to this and pay attention to this. German federal police have blocked several tracks at Hamburg Central Station because two travelers had apparently been infected with the deadly Marburg virus while treating patients suffering from the 88% fatal 
disease in Rwanda. Always, always, always. Family, take it for what it is. Okay, that's why Esau is up to no good. Eh? It says here, uh, the Marburg is a rare but severe hemo hemorrhagic fever. I hope I'm pronouncing it all right, family. Please forgive me if I if I if I butcher it. Eh? Please forgive me. Hemorrhagic fever, like the Ebola virus. Patients develop flu-like symptoms, which then worsen into bleeding from the eyes and body orifices, which ultimately kills them. You hear that? Merborg virus spreads between people via direct contact through broken skin or mucous membranes with the blood secretions, organs, or other bodily fluids of infected people and with surfaces and materials, example, bedding, clothing contaminated with these fluids. The Republic of Rwanda has confirmed several... It's, it's amazing how all these things start from the continent of Africa. You see, Esau, that's why family, we are tired. What are y'all about? Shem, you sorry. Man, we can... This is, this is the devil, eh? The lies, the lies always. The monkey paws, AIDS, all come from the continent of Africa. Yeah, you see? And we know that they are cooking this thing in their factory. We know. We know. They are lies, family. That's what they do. But this is because we know now that we have this truth... Again, the law says what? The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. That's right. Esau ate them. He's a liar. He said the moment they come out of their mother's womb, they're speaking lies. You see, the Republic of Rwanda has confirmed several cases of Melbourne virus disease in hospitals around the country, including eight deaths so far out of 26 cases. This is the country's first Merbock virus outbreak. A medical student who treated the patient with Merbock virus disease during a recent trip to Rwanda arrived on a flight to Frankfurt. Oh, wow. Germany before developing symptoms while traveling to Hamburg. He was hospitalized alongside his girlfriend. Frankfurt is major air hub. Air hub. People that travel with him in the plane could be all over Europe by now. The Hamburg Central Station has been closed as a result of this emergency. What you need to know, Merbock virus is the causative agent of Merbock virus disease, a disease with a case fatality ratio of up to 88%, but can be much lower with good patient care. Family, I'm going to leave it. There. It's a long article, okay? It's a long article. So, It's a long article. Let me see if anything that. It says, if the guy they took off that train in Germany developed symptoms on the train, and if he subsequently tests positive for Merbock virus, then he was contagious on the plane. People from that plane could not only be all over Europe by now, they could also be here in the USA. Family, just pray. You know, we know the Lord God, the, the elect. The hopefully light, but I want to bring this also out. Listen to what your your leaders are saying. They're talking to Mayorkas, eh? I think who at Mayorkas is what the he's the some type of secret uh secretary. Who's Mayorkas again? Let me see if I can get a. He's I can't remember which uh, he, which department he covers. Look up Mayorkas. Yeah, that's why he is the uh, Alexandro. Alonso Nicola Mayaka is an American attorney of government official who is the uh, secretary or oh, secretary of Homeland Security. That's right. Listen to what he's saying. Secretary of Homeland Security. He says he Mayakos warns that FEMA is running low on funds for the rest of hurricane season. Family just sent eight billion dollars to uh to Israel and then to Ukraine. Ukraine are they getting money left, right, and center? And you think your government cares about you? They're telling you that that's right, now you're on your own. America is finished, but this this we're gonna you know, jump to this this paragraph here. Listen to this. What is that paragraph I'm looking for? He said something here. This this basically said that no, there's not enough money left, so stop complaining. You know? He said we are meeting the immediate needs with the money that we have, Mr. Mayorkas told reporters on Wednesday. While en route to meet with officials in South Carolina, we are expecting another hurricane hitting. We do not have the funds. You hear that? I mean, your government is telling you that they can't help you. FEMA does not have the funds to make it through the season. 
the hurry her this is the beginning of the hurricane season your government is telling you that what you are on your own and then you are you still don't want to seek the lord right it is over okay it is over you on your own israel declares united nation chief personal non grata that's how it shows you who is in charge israel a member of united nation is telling the secretary general of united state united nation that what He's a personal non grata. He can travel to Israel. <clears throat> they don't want any business with him. It goes to show you that all this institution that they've set up, from it was set up to uh, to destroy you, to benefit the elite. Okay, to benefit the elite because it's all part of what uh, the rules based order. They don't follow the rules, but they want you to follow the rules. That's why majority of this genocide that is, they commit all over the world. Guess who? Nobody. It's nobody from uh, from Hillary Clinton to Obama. Have you seen any, any of them at the International Criminal Court of Justice? No. Because guess what? The rule doesn't apply to them. It applies to you. So people live in the global South, uh, uh, Central America and uh, what is it called? And, and uh, uh, Central America and South America. That's why right. you are considered the third world country, the undeveloped world. So that's why that's why your leaders, particularly when it comes to the continent of Africa, you see them. That's why. Right. Oh yeah, they are. They were genociding their people, and then they are inter international criminal court of justice. They send out what? Uh, they issue an arrest warrant for Netanyahu. He's flying family. Who, who has anybody trying to arrest Netanyahu, the prime minister of Israel? No, because family they are above the law. You see, remember what the law says in the book of what? Uh, what is it called? Uh, we just read the Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse uh, verse three down. The Lord is allowing him to what? Uh, that's right. To continue. Because he's, he's the one that's going to remove him. The Bible says what? Well, Wait ye upon me till I rise up to the prey. Everybody's going to get it. So here, Foreign Minister Israel Katz has banned Antonio Guterres from entering the country for his failure to condemn Iran. And guess what he did this afternoon? He actually came out and condemned Iran. He didn't condemn... Did, I'm not sure whether he condemned... Uh, Israel for all the atrocity that's going on in but no he came out he didn't first condemn but he came out because what they are they know where their bread and butter is coming from you see how powerful the, uh, the Israeli uh, lobby group is family the United Nations was what was cons let me go foreign minister Israel Katz has banned Antonio Guterres from entering the country for his failure to condemn Iran Israel has declared United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres personal non grata after he called for a ceasefire following Iran's attack on the Jewish state and condemned the widening of the conflict in the Middle East. On Tuesday, Tehran launched several... Yeah, I don't want to bore you with this. But yeah, fam, he came out and, uh, and uh, finally condemned because the pressure was on him. Who put the pressure on him? That's right. Israel. That's right. The elite. This whole world here, family, is corrupt. Our best hope is in the Lord. Our, the best family to get out of this place here. That's why Yahweh Shai said it best. If he doesn't cut the time short, no flesh shall be saved. You see the way Israel is allowed to drop bombs, kill anybody. This is what America have been doing all over the world. They set the rules based order. And then they, there's what? And then they point the finger at you. They are the one dropping the bomb, killing everybody else. And they are calling you a terrorist. But we know that is all coming to an end. Family, I think I'm going to end it there. I'm going to end it there. So stay prayed up. Stay prayed up. This nightmare is going to be over very soon. Let's go to Genesis, uh, Let's go to Matthew 24. I want to read a bit here. Matthew 24. And we're going to end it. Okay. We're going to end it on a good note. Listen to what the Lord, the King is saying, man. Eh? Matthew 24 verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. You hear what the king is saying to us? For the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is the anointed, or there, believe it not. You hear what the Lord is saying? Because he says, all I shall see him. Because it's going to be the day of darkness, gloominess, family. You're going to see the ships. Okay? 
thousands and thousands and thousands of sheep. One is going to look like a mountain. Yeah, that's the one our king Yahweh is going to be in. Okay? It said, for there shall arise false anointed eh, and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. But you can't deceive the elect. The Lord says, if it was possible, meaning what? The elect cannot be deceived. Okay? It said, behold, I have told you before. This is what the Lord is saying. This is, a, this is you see, this is how much the king loves us. You see, he showed us everything. He told us everything. Before it happens, he tells us of it. So when, he, when it comes to pass, remember. Remember when Peter, our beloved apostle Peter, was saying, oh Lord, listen, I want to die with you. I want to go with you. And then the Lord look at Peter. He goes, look, Peter, before the cock crow thrice, you would deny me. You hear that? So when Peter, when the lady, the, the girl said to Peter, Hey, aren't you with Yahweh Shai? Peter said, Girl, be quiet. Who's Yahweh Shai? Who? Yahweh, Yahweh who? Yeah, I don't know him. And then another guy, Hey, didn't I see you with him? I go, What? Are you drinking? You drinking again? Didn't, didn't the doctor tell you not to drink? I wasn't with Yahweh Shai. And then another person asked him, And family, and then the call crew. And Peter remembered. Yahweh telling him that you would deny me three times. And he cried. You see? So before it happens, the Lord tells you, this is what the Lord is doing for us right now. So when someone comes to, you know, trying to say, oh, I'm the Lord. Uh, the apparent Yahweh Shai is coming. He's, 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 he's actually in somebody's backyard right now. No, 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 family. That's not for us. Anyway, let's come to the family. You got to have fun with this thing here. <laughs> he said, For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so might that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. You hear that? You see, behold, I have told you before. The Lord says, I am telling you. Eh? You see, I'm warning you in advance. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert. Go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers. Believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east. We know he's coming from the east. Okay? Alright? And shining even unto the west. Because majority of the deliverance is going to take care of. It's going to happen in what? America. One third is going to be delivered from America. So listen to it. It's coming from the east. Eh? And then coming to the west. Okay? It said, as for the, as, it said, for as the lightning cometh out of the east. And shining even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of the Man be. Meaning what? He's gonna come from the east, eh? That's right. And then to the west, and then we're going back to the east. That says it says in the book of uh, Baruch chapter two, okay. And Baruch four also said the same thing. I think Baruch four or five also said the same thing. The word is gathering us, and eh? see, I'm gonna get it, Lord willing. It says here, again, for whatsoever the carcass is. Where is the carcass? The carcass are what? The elect. There will the eagles be gathered. That's why. That's that's why a metaphor for what? The eagles are going to be what? The ships. Right? It says immediately after the tribulation of those days, the civil war, the chaos. Eh? That's why people eating their own kids. All right? That's why men's heart failing them. Chaos everywhere. Because the Lord said there ain't going to be no place to hide. That's the tribulation. Third world war in progress. Eh? Society have collapsed. This is the this is this is what the Lord is telling. He says, immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. The, your leaders, eh? They're not gonna have answer because they're gonna realize that no, this is the this is the work of the Lord. Oh yeah, everybody's going to believe the Lord in that day. They go just the same way Pharaoh. Re realize oh no pharaoh said yeah this is their lord go and worship your lord because he couldn't take it anymore he couldn't fight against the lord that everybody is going to know when this chaos hit everybody's going to know that it is the lord yahweh that is doing it and his only begotten son he says here matthew 24 31 and he shall send his angels okay so immediately after that all the chaos Eh? We're not going to be here for another seven years after the chaos. No, immediately right after the midst of third world war. That's when we're going to be delivered. Eh? Microchip have been implemented. People dying from it. That's right. 
and he shall send his angels with a great sound of trumpet, eh? and they shall gather together his elect. You see, the elect from the four winds from the end of the he- of the heaven to the other. Let's look up the word elect. I, I don't think I've looked up any word this evening. Let's look up the word elect. Again, that should show you that the Lord is not coming. Electos, okay? Picked out. The Greek word is what? Strong's G, 1588. Eclectos. 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 It says what? Picked out. Chosen. Chosen by the Most High to obtain salvation through what? The anointed, right? You see? Choice. Select. Example. The best of its kind or class. Excellence. Preeminent, it says, what the elect were what picked before the foundation of the earth, right? Applied to certain individual Christian, the true followers of Yahweh Shai, not the pork chop eating, not plantation Christianity. No, 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 okay, no, 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 no. These are special people that were picked before the foundation of the earth. That's why it says, well, choice, select the best of its kind or class, excellence, preeminent. Apply to certain individual. That's the elect. The Lord is not coming to save everybody. Okay. Again, it says here. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Because there will be gnashing of teeth. Yeah. They don't know the name of the Lord. Plantation Christianity. They for yeah, they are waiting for some type of seven year tribulation. That's what the Lord says. He's going to come as a thief in the night. A lot of people are not going to be able to. They're not going to know what is happening. They're not going to know what is happening. Because they believe their pork chop eating pastor. Who's all about prosperity uh, gospel. How much money you can make. You have banks in Ghana. You know, you are, no, no, you are bang. Churches building banks, family. Let that make sense. You know, churches. Churches building universities. Yeah, family. Yeah, that's right. He said, and he shall send his angels with, no, it says here. And then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. So that's what we are looking forward to. And we pray that we are among the number. But family, let's let's end it with Baruch. I want to go to come on, give it to me. Baruch. Baruch chapter I think it's four. Ah, yeah, listen to this. <laughs> listen, it says, For I will take away. It said, For no, 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 no. Let me see here. Let me go to verse. I think it's verse 2. Let me see. I love Baruch, man. Please bear with me. I think even five tells you. Um, let's go to Baruch four. Mm-hmm. Let me take. It said, let me just pick pick it up from verse thirty. It said, take a good heart, O Jerusalem. Always people before a place talking about the Israelite. For he that gave thee that name, who gave us the name Yahweh, will comfort thee. He said, miserable are they that afflicted thee. And rejoice at thy fall. All these nations enjoy seeing us at the bottom. And that's right. They enjoy seeing us making fool of ourselves. They enjoy coming to our community, setting up businesses, and selling us all type of abominable food. That's right. But they thought what? It was forever. Uh uh-uh. uh. They're about to find out that no, the Lord didn't forsake us. Okay? It's a miserable are the cities which thy children sell. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For us she rejoiced at thy ruin. This nation enjoy seeing us destroy ourselves. And was glad of thy fall. So shall she be grieved for her own desolation. That's right. 
You hear what the Lord is saying? He said, For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For I will take away, sorry, for fire shall come upon her from the everlasting. That's how Yahweh Shai is coming. Yahweh Shai says in the book of Luke 12, verse 49. He says, I wish it's in the NLT. He says, I wish this fire, I wish this place is on fire before I come. And roughly power phrase, and the father is going to grant him his wish. Because third world war is going to be in progress when the when Yahweh Shai shows up. He says, Oh Jerusalem. No, he said, For fire shall come upon from her. So shall, sorry, for fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. What that what do you read that again? Isaiah 34 and Isaiah 13. America is going to be desolate, and guess what? Wild beasts of the desert is going to take over America. Okay? Oh, Jerusalem. I love this name, family. Jerusalem. Eh? And that name is going to be under our tongue very soon, family. We're going back home. We're going back to the east. Okay? Jehoshua is coming from the east. He's going to come to the west. Gather his elect. The angels are going to go around the world gathering the elect, and then we're going home. We're going home. We're going to go first. Ezra saw us. Ezra saw the, the what is it called? The big marriage supper. Man, family. Whew, there are good, a lot of goodies are coming, man. A lot of good things are coming. A lot of goodies are coming. And we pray that we make it to that marriage supper. Oh, Jerusalem, look about thee towards the east. And behold, the joy that cometh unto thee from the power. Lo, thy sons come. Listen to this. Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of our power. Well, I mean, this word is the one doing the gathering. But the king is coming. The king is coming, man. We know we all tired. Eh? It's a 44. The old man. I said we all tired and I look at my telegram. It says 44. Family, I mean, that's the spirit. That's mercy right there. That's mercy right there. The Lord knows that we are tired, man. So family, I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, the list of the flock is going to draw America out. We're going to continue to monitor this. And we're going to continue to bring out, bring it out through the spirit and power of our King, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai. And I'm going to leave it there. Beloved, I hope you are edified. Shalom.